who's back. Hello and welcome to the first episode of Crucial Christo in 2008. I've uh, took some time off, uh, been, uh, having been um, replying people commenting, I've been putting nasty things, but thanks to a guy named Bill O'Reilly, I know how to answer people properly now, so let's see. Today I will talk about the uh, Aston Villa winter transfer window, which turned to be a bit disappointing, but in other news I'd just like to say that I went to my first Aston Villa match in nine years in January, I went on uh, January 12th to Aston Villa Reading game, we've got the programme here, programme and I've got me ticket, not sure I've got my camera coffee, but oh well, who gives a crap, anyway talk about the only transfer that went in and that was uh, Rain Routledge or Routledge, I'm not sure how it's pronounced, uh, not what I was expecting but, excuse me, right, uh, how well was I, oh yeah, I mean Martin O'Neill said he'd be bringing lots of plays in and uh, you know, Wayne Routledge turned out to be the only one, and you know, we're all disappointed because when uh, the first thing I thought when we got took over was all these players coming in, and uh, we've had some, had some good ones. We've had uh, Ashley Young, uh, Nigel Wheel, Coca, all in Hairwood. But anyway, we just expected bigger names. I think I know what uh, Martin O'Neill's trying to do. He's um, bringing in all these British talent cases of foreign cap coming in and plus he's also picking the best because we've got five in the Indian squad even though some that home Germany didn't buy but and of course we've got two on Ronald Owen and Curtis Davis and Scott Carson who might uh, will probably be full time I hope unless Man United so Chelsea or someone to keep in for uh, uh, Davies I hope uh, and also let's talk about players out because they want to get had more players leaving coming in so our squad is now even smaller we've lost Melberg, he's not going to all the summer but we've lost him uh, but and, uh, say, let him go, he's done a great job uh, here, seven uh, years I believe he's done a great job so if he wants to go to the event let's let him go, he deserves it um, Cahill, just did not want to see him go but Oh well, I'm sure Martin O'Neill had his uh, reasons. Well, otherwise that transfer window has been pretty boring. We were promised decent players coming in, they didn't call. Him. Martin O'Neill has yet again said that he's going to do his best in the summer, but he said that before. And another, I know he's tried to sign a goalkeeper, but and that's another thing I want to point out. Have you noticed that? We couldn't get the deal done for the goalkeeper, and we're not allowed to, but yet Middlesbrough have just got the work permit for Alves after the window shut, or Alves, whatever it's pronounced, and then the Johnny's move, or Bon Jovi, whatever he's called, his move to Man City went through after the window, so why can't we have this goalkeeper, it doesn't make sense, is it because we don't give the FA blow job or something? Anyway, oh, and another thing we want to point out, as I say, I am very upset over one transfer that we never got. Defoe, I thought O'Neill would have put a last-ditch bid in, because Defoe's a great England, and it's what we need. We need a great goal scorer, and we haven't got that. We have got good strikers, but they're not really, they're not 15 a season. I think Agbon, or he's only young, give him five years' time. He might uh, score a load in that uh, young striker, 17-year-old, who we should play now. I can't pronounce his surname. Sorry, but we should play him. Wayne Rooney made his debut at 16, and I believe Mike Rowan played when he was 16 or 17. So I say put this guy in the team. But anyway, that's it for the winter window, really. Say, got set over to foe. Could have put the bid in, but. And he's now going to score Pompey to York. And to be honest, I think we're going to finish night this season because we didn't sign many. Oh, we have a score to score in the Premiership, and now Petrov's injured. Um, I uh, have Bonnehaw's got an injury, Lawson's injured, Routledge is injured, uh, so I've probably missed off, but anyway, that's the Aston Villa winter transfer window for 2008. I'll be back with my video next week, which is not about Aston Villa, but trust me, if you've got a boyfriend or girlfriend, you don't want to see it. Well, this is me, uh, don't be a silly bugger when you're commenting me.
I'm looking at you. See ya.